on today's episode of The Home Rancher, we're going to see if we can bring back an antique simplicity rear engine mower and get it running and driving and cutting grass. We'll be right back. All right, so there's our revival. I told you guys I'll do a revival soon. Well, a couple things didn't work out. A couple of people that had vehicles that they wanted to sell and a couple of people that had vehicles that they wanted to donate um, to get out of their way. I don't know. I, they went to sleep or they flew to the moon or something. I'm not sure exactly where they went. But got this old Simplicity 3108 rear engine mower here. And my neighbor's dog won't quit barking. So he's, uh, I guess he's a fan of the home renter. Well, let's dig in and drink it in and see what we got going on here. All right, so we have a Simplicity 3108 rear engine ISO body Cavalier edition. It's uh, had a little bit of graffiti done to it. Tires are kind of flat i think this one is yeah it's about as spongy as stay puff marshall old man's butt seats a little rotted all in all really it's not in that's way too much playing that steering it'll be okay i didn't see that well Let's pop its top off and see what we got under here. Ah. Hmm. No crankcase flywheel cover. But I'd say it's probably an 8 or a 12 horse Briggs. Carburetor, if you'll make it happener, is here. Probably full of crap. <clears throat> um nice custom modification oil fill tube and dipstick electrical tape all over the coil that's fine probably not okay <sighs> yeah I don't know guys this may or may not run looks like it's had some serious leakage going on locked up <laughs> uh, what else is new what we got in here I think that might be pure water okay so fifth thing last besides the second <clears throat> can't uh, can't officially start this project until you know first thing you're supposed to do even before anything safety wise you got to get yourself a cold beer today I have the PBR flavor America Ah, smells like America. Oh, nothing better than an ice cold PBR. All right, let's get to work. I'm going to pull the spark plug out, squirt something up inside 
the cylinder, take a look at the spark plug, see how it was running, and uh, make a decision whether or not I'm going to be able to get this motor broke free. <clears throat> um, it was laying on its side in the barn, so there could be oil in the cylinder, and that could be keeping the cylinder locked, but let's check it out and see what we get. I do believe that's a 13 16. And in case you guys don't know, these Pittsburgh tool kits that Harbor Freight sells, 301 piece mechanics tool set, they're great. You look at the, the tools and they pretty much look just like craftsmen and Little Birdie told me that Pittsburgh is the forge where they actually make craftsman tools. And don't quote me on that. I don't know for certain. But I really can't tell much of a difference between the two. And they both have a lifetime warranty. So why spend three times more when I can go down to homeless freight and get the same thing? Refueled. Uh, of course, I have a ratchet. It's 500 times bigger than what I need. But for some reason, Pittsburgh decided that that needed to be a half-inch drive for a spark plug socket. I don't know. I, that, don't, Ricky, don't start your crap with me today. I didn't do it. I didn't make it. Shh. You want to go home? All right. That's way, way too tight for a little engine like this. But to each his own, I guess, you know. Ah, yeah. That's bone dry. It looks like the Sahara Desert in the middle of summer. And the electrode on top is loose as, well, I mean, I'll show you. This is just looser than anything. And looks like it's pretty burnt and carboned up. Now, <clears throat> The guy I got this mower from told me that this has been sitting in his barn since 1992 and hasn't ran. Um, this is a 1980 model. And from what I was told, I guess these were like $1,200 new back then from Simplicity. So a guy paid $1,200 for this motor and used it for 12 years and parked it and bought him a new one in 92. Uh, not a simplicity. He got a, I think it was a El Toro or something that maybe, or a, or a snip snapper, whatever they call those. Yeah, one of those. So I'm going to squirt something up inside this cylinder and See if uh, we can get her broke free. Got to go get something. I'll be right back. All right, so a guy's back. I grabbed some of this Lucas multi-purpose parts cleaner and degreaser. It was cheap, almost free. So I like it. It works pretty good. It's kind of like a cross between uh, parts washer fluid, which is basically just like kerosene or diesel fuel, and brake clean mixed together. It dries really quick um, I've used it on throttle bodies brake calipers rotors you know inside of carburetors uh, even washed my hands with it one time and then forgot it was there and went and peed and well 
you know. So we got some of that. Got some WDO Fordo. And for when I want to get it going here, found this laying out behind the barn. It's faded, but good old true fuel. 50 to 1 mix. That way we got some oil down in that cylinder. Make sure we're not cranking on a dry wash cylinder that we clean it out with cleaner. Let's see what we can do. Good old PBR. Okay, of course, this thing's butt is right in my way, and it's spot welded together, so I can't just remove that. I'd have to take the whole body off. So, good thing I got this WDO Fordo with the flex straw, so I can get down in there and bend it around a little bit and. Sh sh I'm still walking around with a spark plug in a socket. Don't know why. It's just the things I do. All right. That's that's pretty filled up in there now. So. Pull this air cleaner off and see what we got going on down in the carbonator. What's that? Oh, you guys want to watch? Okay. Let me reset up my camera and I'll bring you guys over. Okay. I don't know what to do with my hands. Flywheel's pretty rusty. I have to get some screechy scratch paper and clean that up. Make sure the magneto's clean. Make sure we're getting a spark. Uh, yep. A little crusty dusty down in there. Throttle's not locked up. Venturi's moving. Don't look too bad. I'm going to pop this uh, float adjustment screw out and drain the carb. Oh, yeah, I just turned it a little bit. And look there. There's nice rusty water in there. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Yep. Well, we kind of already knew that was going to happen. So we just deal with it. Now, let's check out the Earls here with their custom hold down tool and it's basically nothing in it but tastes like a hamburger I had yesterday a little smoky yet it's got some viscosity to it so that's alright I got some Rotella T4 we'll dump down in there and get her going all right let's clean this carbonator out this stuff works freaking amazing I'll get you guys down in here and show you in just a second you would swear that I just bought this carburetor on Amazoo and just installed it. Look at how nice and clean that carburetor came. Isn't that just delightful? I think it is. Oh no, my tree pod's gonna fall. I don't want to drop you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Let's get you set back up here. I think that's kind of where I had y'all. Is that good right there? Ricky, it, can you see? Okay. 
All right. I need another PBR and I need to grab a couple things from inside. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so went inside, got the things I need. I got some some gritty roughness here that's adhered to some type of paper, papyrus, the stuff that the Egyptians used to make. Yeah. And uh, we're going to clean the magneto and the coil and the contact points on the flywheel for the spark shooter and uh, clean the uh, spark plug, spray it out, and uh, I'm going to try to break this motor free. It's been sitting about 30 minutes now. So we'll see if we can clean this magneto up a little bit. <sighs> Refueled. So I wonder <clears throat> I wonder how Big Bird's been. I haven't heard from him in a long time. And I used to look up to him cuz you know he's tall. And I might be able to look him eye to eye and say bird I love you. No, I I haven't seen Big Bird in a long time. Not sure what he's up to, but I'd like to hear from him, you know. You don't need like nine grit or brick glued to a piece of paper to sand this stuff guys if it's not really seriously seriously on there and like pitted you can take some 600 400 and uh, give it a little scratch and the good thing about when i'm doing this i'll take a piece of this 3m sandpaper and fold it in half and it'll fit between the magneto and the flywheel just perfectly and I use that as a gauge as well for setting my gap so I get proper distance for spark and all that magic and lightning happens. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and see what we get. Fits nice. A little bit of rust and stuff down in there. So, hopefully this magneto is good so we get some spark. Um, I'd like to see some fire jump off of that spark plug and made it hit over. But we need to see if we can turn this thing over. So... I'm going to crawl underneath here and put a socket and ratchet on the bottom of the crank and see if I can't just kick it with the size 13 and make it pop loose. See if we shatter a ring or two, break a rod, you know. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Can you believe that that little bugger is a 5 8 and it goes up inside of a collar. That pulley's got a collar and a shroud on it that's like that long and it goes down to a pulley. This might make a nice wheelie vehicle if I get it going. We'll see. We'll see if we can get it broke loose. Excuse you. Okay. Now y'all guys try to keep a watch here. And tell me if that flywheel moves, which I should know because if it'll do the spin or root anything. So I guess don't watch. I just go get you a plate of nachos and 
beer. I'll be right here when you get back. What in mother father so in britches? I guess some Asian guy designed this thing because I can't get my big old hillbilly hand up in there for some reason. Well, that is not going to do the thing with the stuff. So I think I need to make another plan here because there's a roller on the... Oh, you know what? I can lower the deck and get to it. There's a roller on the back of the deck and it's right in my way. Hope there's not any like wasp houses in here anywhere. That'd suck. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, that goes up and down. The belts are on it too and they don't look bad. A little dry, a little crispy looking. Oh yeah, that's that's the how you do it right there. Alright. Let's see what we get. Ah. Ah. It's a little bit tight. Oh, I might need a Hulk smash later, and I don't have no help. I got a baseball game tonight. Oh, that's cool. This thing's got, looks like almost a brand new starter on it. All right, let's see. Oh, it moved, or did the bolt come undone? It's turning. Oh, well, I'll be darned. Oh, oh golly gee. It's moving, guys. Well, ain't this just exciting? We got movement. Oh, yeah. And I can hear some little when I turn it over. So I'd say we probably got compression. I can hear it sucking through the carburetor. Let's see if we got compression on. <laughs> Y'all hear that? We got compression. This thing's gonna run. Yes, sir. All right. Now that we got it broke free, we're gonna run that sandpaper around that flywheel some more and get it back down in there around that magneto and make sure it's good and clean. That way we got a good surface, so we get some good lightning coming through that tube there. Now, you know, you don't have to clean this whole flywheel. There's one little part on here. It's aluminum on this one. It's bolted down and it's got that stainless, well, not stainless, it's steel in the center. And it's like a winding in a motor of magnets stacked. And that spins around and it creates a contact point between the magneto here, the two poles on the magneto, and then it charges that and shoots lightning out you know all that magical stuff happens it's kind of like going to disneyland what's going on with disneyland y'all see that stuff with ronda santis and disney it's just crazy huh? all over getting monorail systems and stuff inspected why are they so scared to get inspected oh i bet i know why 
Then they got somebody like me working on them, and they just put it together with duct tape and bubble gum and baling wire and just hope that everything works out and turn your head and let it rip, Taylor Chip. That's probably why. Nope. Uh, if I worked on it, I'd make sure it's safe because I don't want my family or anybody else's family getting in something and having it come apart. Now, me, myself, I don't care. I'll, I'll jump off a 10-story building with nothing but a bed pillow and a, a tablecloth and hope it works as a parachute. I don't care. <clears throat> when it comes to me, I don't care. But other people, I want to make sure they're safe. Okie dokie. I got a battery down in the basement on boil mode. Smells like sulfur something bad in the basement. <clears throat> I'm going to go run and get that and come up with some hardware to put these wires on. Um, dump some gasoline down inside the fuel tank and let it drain down to the carb here and see if I can get this moisture out of the carburetor and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go in the house and get an old twisty tie off of bread and pull the plastic sheathing off of it and use that and run through uh, the main jet and some of the main jet valves and uh, idle circuit on the carburetor make sure they're not clogged up uh, clean the needle and seat float put it back together and see if it does carburetor stuff ah, anybody got a set of knees oh i could use one for sure maybe two. Oh my goodness okay <clears throat> let's put some fire maker down in the holder rooney and uh i love these tanks right here <clears throat> it's so much easier instead of trying to tip and pour gas all over your going to town clothes you can control it with the little p-nozzle and it's got this handy little trigger right here with a little clicker dooker and you just put the nozzle down in there and pull the trigger lever and just let her rip tater chip watch your level and just put it up to where you want it and you know just uh we go to old clicky wiki here and if you shake it more than three times you're playing with it i i did i shook it once okay so <clears throat> you know what i forgot i forgot to go get that battery off of boil mode i'm gonna run back in there and get that and give me another pbr while i'm waiting Okay, I'm back. I got the battery off of boil mode from down there in the basement. Got me another PBR. I am no way sponsored by PBR, but if they want to sponsor me, I'm right here, guys. Home Rancher 1776 on YouTube. All right, so I got this battery that uh, come out of my zero turn last season. Should be okay. It's been on boil for the last three hours, so I'm going to do some adjusting on it here and make sure this hardware and stuff that I got is going to fit. And uh, we'll uh, get it mounted in there. Let me turn this thing a little bit so y'all guys can kind of see me a little better. See? Got the Hulk smash lighter here. I'm going to Hulk smash light this grade 8 bolt through the doodab here and make sure it does the stuff that it's supposed to do and makes sparks. Well, no, we don't want it to make sparks, but we want it to make electricity. Okay, we got that started in there now. It's just a little bit bigger than the lead. So basically, I'm tapping it so the bolt will be threaded into the lead. And then, end result is that. So now I just stick that in there, put my wires over it, put nuts and washers on it, and I'm done. And when I need to take it out, same thing. I don't have to worry about losing them little bolts. They're right there. 
So let me readjust this camera a little bit. And uh, the way I, I keep chopping my head off, I feel like I hit the ceiling fan in the house again, like I always do. That's fun. Oh. Okay. Oh, that, I was tickling my beer. We have special time, just me and my beer sometimes. And we've come to the point to where we have deep, meaningful conversations. Sometimes we cuddle. Sometimes we argue. Sometimes we fight. Just so we can make up. That's Garth Brooks lyrics, isn't it? What are Garth Brooks is doing? <sighs> I think I heard somewhere he's getting a divorce from Trisha. Is that true? I look down in the comment. What? Oh. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a wasp later crawling on me and it's my microphone. Yeah, I got this fancy dancy tripod and um, wireless microphone system. I'm stepping up in the world. Uh, I'm going to try to get some editing software and do some better editing for you guys. Um, I want to keep doing this. I like it. It's fun. Derek, I want to thank you for inspiring me to be myself and come out and do things and work with my hands again. I quit. I, I quit doing this stuff and sat behind the wheel of a truck and gave up. And I watched your videos, man, and you inspired me to be myself and come out and use my knowledge and do what I do and be happy and do it as a, a pastime, as a hobby again. And I'm grateful for that. And buddy, Derek, I love you, man. I, I, I'm not no homo nothing but I'm, I'm just saying guy to guy you're an amazing human being and i'm proud of you and i'm proud of what you do with your family and <clears throat> i wish i was half the man that you are um I, I i'm speechless there's not too many good guys in this world that does anything with their kids and family and has the level of understanding and caring and together time with your family and that's beautiful. I love that. And I love you guys. And if you guys are watching, Derek, Jessica, y'all got amazing family. And I'm very happy for you. <clears throat> and I hope that our boys and your boys get to play football together one day like they want to do. And Derek, I mean, you can have a couple cold snacks. And Jessica, you can hang out with my wife, Bunny. You'll love her, and I know she'll love you. Y'all get along great. <clears throat> I look forward to that day. Hopefully, we can run together in a power tour or something in the future. But until then, I'm going to keep doing this. And I'm going to shut up and get this thing turning over and see if we can't get some spark to it and some fuel to it and see if we can't make it run. <clears throat> and I don't know, maybe, maybe try to pop a few wheelies and cut some grass or something. Let's see. That's going to fall. That's not good. All right, get the top hat for the carburetor. <clears throat> Put that back over there where that belongs. That's not where it belongs, but that's where it belongs for right now. <clears throat> okay, so we got a depressed cable and a overly excited cable here. And it looks like they're the right colors. So I'm going to get this battery down in here. And oh, look at the battery tray. That's, that's cute. It's some old roofing shingle. It's done its job. It's not rotted out from a battery leaking acid. So I'm going to do the right thing and put that right back and continue to use it. It's been there since 1980-something, so why take it out now? Okay, positivity goes on the left. Look at that, it fits just like a glove. <clears throat> and this came out of my Hustler Zero turn. Don't know how it fits, but it does. Probably because it's a lawn and garden battery. And they're all the same, other than the posts being on different sides, I guess. And some cranking amp. Manipulators are a little different, maybe. 
Oh, look at there. It looks like those bolts was made for this. They're going right on there like they've been there and we're going to party like it's 1999 or maybe 92 because that's when this thing's been sitting since 92. So scratch the 1999 and let's party like it's 1992. Do, 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 do. Meters. <clears throat> All right, let's tighten these down and see if I can get some sparks going to it here. Tighten this earth cable up. <sighs> oh, I don't like that. That's a little, a little tight up against the battery. So. We're going to do this instead. That is stabbing me. I thought I was going to need it to hold the thing up there. The hood. Cover. Engine protector. Rear. Tray. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call it on the lawnmower. If y'all guys know what you call it. Clicky clack it down in the comments there. and That way I know what to call this thing. And how about some names of what we should call this because <clears throat> I think we're gonna let the boyos have it and maybe change some pulleys on it we get it running and see uh, see if it'll do some burnouts see if it'll pop some wheelies see how fast we can maybe make it go you know Who knows? I mean, we might have the next land speed record. We'll take it to Bonneville or something. No, we're not taking it to Bonneville. But, I mean, we might take it to Cletus and Cars and cut Cletus' gas for him. Uh, grass, I said gas. He won't cut his gas. <clears throat> oh, Monty Python. I need a drill because i got to open up one of those fittings for the thing my bob there yeah I kind of got smart and I start keeping all my tools in my truck now because <clears throat> I can make a mess in the back of my truck and my wife don't come in here and it won't get thrown away so I just throw all my crap in the back of my S Escalade there and drive around, let stuff rattle back and forth all day. And I'm just wallering this hole out a little bit so it'll fit over my hardware that I got. The other side fit on there pretty good. No, that's still not quite enough. Take it out a couple more millimeters. I think that might have done it. That's it. Now you've done it. And that reminds me. I remember when I was a kid, I was sitting in the doctor's office with my mom. And I was there to see the doctor. I had chicken pox or something, I believe. And I think my brother had it too. We had been in a car accident like a couple of days before. This guy come around the corner in the rain and t-boned us right in the side my we were bringing our grandmother home from the hospital she had been sick i want to say i remember maybe she might have had a heart attack or something and <clears throat> it was a, a bad situation it was raining this was down in florida it was in a really dangerous curve that we all called dead man's curve and uh well there, there was a lot of people that died in that curve it was a 25 mile an hour curve and everybody wanted to fly around it doing 55. 
you know, you can't tell people that the speed limit's there for a reason. They just drive how they want to, and they don't care, you know. It's not their family. They don't care. You know, they don't think about anything but themselves. That's why racing and anything like that, you know, I firmly believe it should always be done on a closed course and not out on the road, you know. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I did that street racing stuff and drag racing and stuff that I probably shouldn't have done. But, you know, when we're kids, we do things we're not supposed to do. <clears throat> but back to the story, because I got ADD and I'm all... <laughs> flippity doo <laughs> Hey, what? Stop laughing, Ricky. It's not flipping funny. So anyway, we're in the doctor's office. Ow. And sitting there waiting to go back and see the doctor. Excuse you. And there's this boy in there with his mother to see the doctor also. And he's got like 10 ping pong balls. And he's throwing them everywhere. And I mean, they're ricocheting off of everything, hitting the light fixtures and hitting the, the, the assistant behind the counter, the medical assistant. And this kid is just like belligerent as all get out. Won't listen to his mother. And his mother is turning red in the face. She's got veins popping out on her forehead. <clears throat> and she gets up. She goes over to this boy. She takes the ping pong balls and she stuffs them in a bag and puts them in the seat. And then he takes off and tries to grab some magazines and knocks over a rack. So she goes and picks him up. He's like maybe seven, eight years old. She picks him up by the ribs and plops his butt down in that seat. And you heard, <laughs> and he goes, ah, that's it. Now you've done it. You've done went and busted my balls. And we just lost it laughing. He was talking about his ping pong balls, but it, uh, uh, you had to been there. It's funnier if it was in person, but yeah, it was, it was funny. I'll never forget that. It was hilarious. Okay. Well, let's make sure <clears throat> that it is out of gear and let's make sure that our coil wire is not touching anything that Woohoo! That will conduct electricity so I don't get fried. And uh, let's see if. Will you stay over there? Shut up, Ricky. All right, there we go. All right. As Derek would say, bring the thunder. Nope. Nope. Okay, well. Well, I guess that concludes today's episode. No, I ain't stopping here. I got to go in the basement and get my test light. And we're going to see if we're getting continuity to the Steel Me Junction solenoid. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I forgot to turn my camera on. Uh, well, I didn't forget. I hit record and I didn't make sure it was recording. And it didn't record everything that... ADD again. I got sidetracked and I uh, went ahead and pulled the jet and the bowl off the carb. And uh, it wasn't all that good, but I cleaned it out. Run some cleaner, pipe cleaner, little twisty tabs, twister tie down through everything. Sprayed it down with some of this uh, Lucas Lucanator and I didn't have any carb cleaner, but I had brake cleaner. It's just the same thing. It's just non-chlorinated. And I uh, put a little bit of 50 to 1 fuel in there and let it lube everything up really good and blew through the fuel intake and made sure the float was opening and closing. And I set it pretty much where I think it should be. And by, me, by that, I mean going by the 30 threads where it was and put it back as close as I could, <clears throat> and uh, I'd say we're probably going to have a carburetor, as uh, it has fuel coming to it, and it's not running out of the bowl 
it's not running out of the air horn and it's not all over the ground so it's not flooding so that's good so uh i'm going to check for continuity and power here and see what we got going on at the starter now of course i'm just going to ground myself right to the battery and go from there once again i'm not sponsored in any way shape or form by harbor freight but i do have a lot of their tools because you know what they work see the light 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 it works so we can test for continuity and we got power down to the steel me junction thing <clears throat> i'll just turn the key on and see where we're losing ow hmm I'm not getting the signal from the switch. I got some wires over here that are disconnected. It went to maybe a safety switch of some kind. See if any of those have a signal. Nope. Well, I guess we're just going to have to do like an old Ford and jump it over at the solenoid and see if we get any turnage. All right, so let's see what we get. Woo! Oh, oh, look at there. We got all that in there. <clears throat> we just blew all that crap out of the cylinder that we had in there. I'm going to squirt a little ether down in there to get the rest of the oil out. That way we don't have a mosquito truck smoke cloud out here. And um, Let's put a spark plug in this thing and see if she pops off. You know, I still never cleaned that spark plug. I guess I need to do that too, don't I? I'm just everywhere and discombobulated today. I don't know what I'm doing. Bear with me. Sorry. Holy moly. Morgan Freeman's measles. This thing is dirty. Wish I had a little wire wheel. You know what? I think I do got one. Let me look in my tool bag. I got a wider wheel from Lucille. My name is Frederico from Puerto Rico. I make one dollar every day. I go to Lucy, she give me, she take me dollar all the way. This is a family friendly video, so fill in the blanks.
Let that dry out for a few seconds, but brand new. We're going to check the gap, and by that, I'm just going to eyeball it and see if it looks like there's enough there to fire, and we'll go with it. <clears throat> so, I need you guys' help here, you know. Um, I've created some merchandise, and I'm going to have a link to a merchandise store. Uh, Y'all be sure to come by and get you some shirts or coffee mugs or hats or whatever, and let me know what you think of the designs. Uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see in the store, feel free to send me a message or leave it in the comments. Um, but I want to know what you guys want to see on the channel. You want to see more stuff like this? Um, you want to see me bring small engines back as well as cars? Um, maybe buy some cars to flip? You know? Um Maybe some body damage, do some body work and some paint work maybe. What would you guys like to see on the channel? Make sure you click it, clack it down in the comments. And let me know what you guys think. Because I want to make sure I'm taking care of you guys. My friends, my family, my subscribers, and my fans. I want you guys to be happy. And I want to captivate you guys and just give you some heart-wrenching content. That brought a tear to my eye. I love you guys. I want you to stay, please. I'm screwing off, but... Yeah. Let's put this spark plug in there. And uh, I'm going to squirt a little bit of fuel down the yap here and see if this thing don't pop off. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts, dee dee all sitting nicely in a row. I believe I can fly, spread my wings and, oh, damn it, I'm still recording. Ah, well, y'all heard my horrible voice. My wife don't let me take a shower in the house no more because of that. Because I was in the shower and cracked the mirror in there one time. And I'm not allowed to shower in the house no more. I have to take a shower outside in the garden hose. It's all right. <clears throat> Neighbor's weird. He watches me. But he's got like a piece of cardboard in front of his window, like covering him from here down. So all I see is his shoulders. And it's really weird. Okay, put some gaso Molino down the Yippie app here and see if she runs. Neutralis. We've got oil. We've got gasoline, we've got a clean flywheel, we've got a clean carburetor, we've got a fresh battery that's been on boil, and we got an engine that's no longer seized up. Now, for the moment of truth. Carburetor bowl is full. We got some fuel primed into the carburetor. We're going to go hot with the key, and I need everybody at home. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your eyes, cross your nose. And let's see if I can catch my elbow in that flywheel and rip some skin off. Let's do this. I think we got a choke issue here. But do you hear that? It it it, it fired. <sighs> Let's try this again. But with a little chokeage.
it's going to run. Well, what do you know? <clears throat> it's going to sit here and idle. And, you know, I don't want to be Captain Obvious here, but for something that's been sitting since 1992, 31 years, it sounds pretty damn good. 31 years sitting in a barn. So let's shut this thing off and let's put an air cleaner on and do some final carburetor adjustments. Let's put some air in the tires and I'm going to oil these spindles for the blade and whatnot. Let's see if this thing will cut grass. Hey, it turns off by the key. We just don't have no signal going from the key to the starter. So, yeah, let's let's spray these spindles down and see if uh, we got all the belts in place. So I think we're going to be okay. I, I think we're going to be okay. And, you know, it's just a single blade system. So, I think, I think it just might do the thing. I'm going to spray some of this on the drive chain here. Just to make sure that everything's good and free. And, uh, we'll see what we get. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Don't answer that question. Derek Berry's doing today. I think he's working on a revival. He's supposed to have a revival video up for us tomorrow. I'm a fan and I'm also somebody that wants to get out and do this stuff myself too, you know, because I really enjoy it. It really makes me happy to take something that's been sitting and put it back out to use. This 
isn't a car by any means, but it's it still runs. It still uses spark, fuel, compression. You know, uh, it drives. Like I said, it's not a show car. It's not an old Malibu or a, a Chevelle or something, but it's a Simplicity. And it's got a run one, two, three, four, five. That's what it says right there. RN one, two, three, four. Run one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Don't ask me, Rick. Sheesh. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to get my air pump later and we're going to put some air in these tires. And, uh,. Let's see if this thing will ride around, cut grass. We'll see what happens. Be right back after I get these tires aired up. Well, we run the battery down, and that 50-50 gas that I put in there is not letting this thing run right. Um, so I'm going to put the battery back on boil mode, and I'm going to go to the gas station and go get some gas, and we're going to see what we can do. Be right back. Well, guys, gals, dudes, dudettes, fellers, fellettes. <sighs> Battery won't charge quick enough, so I'm meant to put it on charge and let it sit overnight. And I think I got a float sticking on the carburetor. Uh, it ran for that couple minutes. Sounded pretty good. But uh, she's flooding out now. So, we'll check that carburetor out again, see what happens there. And, you know, I didn't completely give up. Let me show you here. Well, I stole the battery out in my wife's vehicle and put some jumper cables on it and had the air pump out, you know, and got it all connected there. And you just look down in that carburetor and you can see how wet she is. See it? So, yeah, she's flooding herself out. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to put the battery on charge. I'm going to pull the plug out. I'm going to go ahead and put another plug in it just to be safe. Maybe it's not getting good enough spark. I don't know. Um, it kind of sucks because I wanted to see if it moved. Maybe cut some grass. Who knows? But, you know, it's a good thing because that WD-040 is soaking in all the bearings and spindles and stuff right now. So. Maybe it'll help. Maybe in the long run, it'll be a better deal. <clears throat> so, until tomorrow, I'll drop the rest of this video when we get it running. And y'all have a good night. God bless. And keep those wrenches turning. Keep those brains burning. Use your brain. Get out and do something. Do something with your life. Do something with your family. Have fun. You don't have to be the best. But try. Y'all have a good day. Good night.